Okay. Super, super triggered right now. Really, really in it. Really in it. Someone helping my mother. Huge help. Huge, huge help. Very grateful. I'm in Florida. She's in Michigan. It's a big deal that she's got someone to help her. It's awesome. And this friend and I don't get along great. Really don't. But she gets her out of the house. She helps her. She gets her stuff. She doesn't stop till a problem is solved. She's awesome. Interpersonally, I struggle so much. And she's just got the kind of voice and I don't do well. There's no please that comes out. There's there's demanding and hard voice. Hard. And it triggers. It triggers hard. It's, it's jump in my life. Make demands about what we need. And it's immediate. And she leaves messages that are super intensely provocative and, and emotional and they sound horrible. Your mom's oxygen machine doesn't work anymore. She, she, she's, we got to call the company. She said you rented it. She, you know who to call. It's like, okay, I also am working and busy and would love to help. Why? There must, is there a phone number on this? I mean, my mom doesn't call me. The buddy does and the buddy does before she knows this whole story and it, and she does it in this hard, intense way that is totally plugging in to some past, some big deal, little kid f- just feeling it at fault and helpless and unable to navigate what's being said, let alone how I'm supposed to help. So the sensation of I'm grateful when these moments come up on one hand because this gives me a chance to clear it. Just let it go. This woman wants to help. She's just trying to help. And it's good because the tapping works best when you're really in and it's a 10 man on a scale of 1 to 10, 0 to 10. It's the worst it can be, and it's 10. I am upset, and there's no current, present reason to be this upset. I'm just having an adrenaline dump from a past. Let go of the grief, let go of the fear, let go of the pain. Let go of the helplessness and the hopelessness. Let go of those accusations. The betrayals. Let go of the pain. Let go of the past. Traumas. Just let it go. Let go of the traumas and everything else. Gripping my wrist. Squeezing. Deep breath. Peace. Helps if you visualize something that you love and is fabulous. And I see a beach where I'm eating ice cold grapes out of the cooler. And back in it. It's still a 10. It's still a 10. No, that's not true. It's like an 8. Just let it go. Let it go. Nothing about this in the present moment is real. There's nothing real here. I'm in no danger. I'm six states away. Just let it go. Let it go. Let go of the fear. Let go of the worry, the stress, the manufactured drama that this woman brings. Just let it go. Peace. Okay, some equilibrium. So upsetting. So intense. And she's yelling also because she was in a loud restaurant. So she's yelling. She is yelling. Just trying to be heard, though. 
I mean, she's also a rude woman, but she's just trying to be heard. <sighs> yeah, it's like a six now. <sighs> Let go of the past traumas where you were yelled at. Let go of the past traumas where you were yelled at. Just let it go. Just let it go. Especially when you were yelled at for shit that was not your fault. Let go of the imagined accusations. Just let it go. This is not real. This is not real. There's no danger right now. You are alone in a room with, with instruments and the sun is shining Nobody needs to call an oxygen machine renter in this space. It's fine here. And this is where you are. <sighs> Peace. Sip of something fabulous cold on the beach. Okay, back in it. Super upset, very upset, very angry. Oh, it's like a three. <sighs> Let go of the judgments. Let go of the hatred. Let go of the judgments in the past. Betrayals of any adult that accused. I can totally picture being a little kid in my grandmother's house and she is yelling at me for stealing some food that I did not steal of the other seven grand six grandchildren that guy wasn't there six grandchildren I did not steal what she was yelling at me about but I can tell it's totally what this is from totally what this is from let go of how unfair that is let it go just let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Yep, it hurts. Something nice I have to drink cold. Let go of how unfair this is. Let go of the betrayal. Let go the judgments of people who can't even let you answer before they're yelling at you. Let go. Just let it go. Oh my gosh, I did not realize this one reminds me of my grandmother. I honestly can't remember a time that my grandmother ever said please to me. We didn't get along as kids. We didn't get along at all. She was shitty about my father, who worked three jobs and loved the deadbeat pot-smoking other son-in-law who was fishing all the time. So, skewed, crazy, idiotic, and not me. Adults who couldn't figure out their shit. That was somebody else's shit. It's not mine. Just let it go. Just let it go. Oh yeah, there's a big lump in my throat. But it's even better than it was a minute ago. Back to the grapes on the beach. Let go of the anger. Let go of the helplessness and the powerlessness. Let go of the anger. My parents let me be with this person. It was so unfair. Let go of the unfairness. Oh, let it go. Just let it go. Let go of the pain. Let go of the hatred. I really hate... I felt hatred. Hatred. <sighs> and a need for revenge. Yelling back at her. Let it go. <sighs> I'm going to yell back at her. Get off my ass. I didn't do it. Stop yelling at me. <sighs> Just let it go.
her deal. It's not your deal. None of this is you. <sighs> Something nice to sip. <sighs> and I'm still feeling it. It was a lump in my throat, but now it's like in my chest. <sighs> it helps when you're tapping to be able to aim it. So really plugging into where, where it's at between the eyes, kind of on the eyebrows, you know, regular EFT does this. It's, it's fine. It's fine. That's, it's fine. Side of the eye, under the eye, kind of on the bone there. And faster would have you, you know, going under here and going under here and here and hitting your bra strap line as it goes and hitting your head, karate chopping. I don't need those. Because I'm just letting go. Let it go. Just let it go. I never made the connection between that woman and my grandmother. Who's gone? I can't really approach her and ask questions. Although I do. I do. Sometimes. Let it go. Her nasty, sarcastic, snotty voice of a, a woman who also survived much shit in her life. Hard for a reason. Definitely hard. And right now... I can tell the little kid is doing better. Is doing better. I had a really good moment with her years later. Let it go. Let go of the bewilderment and the shame. Let go of the humiliation. Just let it go. Let go of the anger at the ambush of it. I had a wonderful moment with her, and I really can only think of about three. But one, where we were rock hounding together, we were looking for fossils, and she and I were near each other, and I didn't want to be near her, but it just worked out that way. And I love that we did that together, and I loved watching her pick up a rock that I couldn't tell. I was pushing the dirt off it, and she picked it up, put it, you know, in her hand and spit on it. I know that sounds weird, but for someone who I really disliked my whole childhood, that memory sticks out as so awesome. I just loved that she was, that felt badass to a little, I was probably seven, seven, eight years old when she did that. And I remember thinking... How cool. How cool. Like she gave me permission to do that. And I can feel I'm grieving. I don't have a chance to say this to me. I certainly didn't at the time. So afraid of her. She was such a... A very troubled woman who was really quite cruel. <laughs> so they go with the anger. They go with the pain. The sadness. It's like... <sighs> Peace. <sighs> something, something good on the page. I feel breathless with the sadness. Oh, just let it go. Okay, when I go back and look at her, her yelling at me, I don't feel afraid. Just let it go. I don't feel the anger. I feel the sadness. It's morphed significantly. Seeing something nice. As I grip my wrist, think about seeing something nice. Okay, so she's there with me, yelling at me unfairly. It's like a two. 
Let go of any sensations, any accusations, any fallout, any emotional traumas from this. Any emotional traumas, period. Every emotional trauma, period. All of the emotional traumas, let them go. Emotional traumas and everything else is going. Let it go. Peace. Just let it go. Looking up, seeing her be cool and rugged and helping me. Just let it go. The sadness, the mourning, the grieving, the betrayal, the humiliation. Those are gone. Gripping my wrists. Peace. Okay, Grandma. All right, I see her. And I'm feeling love right now for... We're rock hunting together, and she's so knowledgeable and smart. And I never saw her congratulated for that. I see the love in the moment of that. The connection, the affinity... I feel the love that we had in that moment. I feel the love. And I'm letting that into my body. So a little breathless, still letting go. Sadness. The realizations. I had no idea this woman was the worst part of my grandmother for me. Now her barking at me on the phone. Not having any any anger or even annoyance at that. I could totally feel that it's just because it's loud. <sighs> this collarbone point sometimes. I get a little heavy handed. <laughs> I have to back up. <sighs> just let it go. Let go of the annoyance and the anger. Feel the love with my grandmother in that moment. Anything else is gone. Perfectly safe right now. And that little girl's getting the love. She's just getting it beamed into her heart. Feeling the love blowing in, blowing out of my grandmother's heart into mine. And her hand putting her hand on my shoulder. And discovering what I found was amazing. Like really rare and intact. Just letting, letting her congratulate me and show pride. Letting her show me so much pride and love and admiration. I'm really feeling her admiration. I'm really morphing this memory. Letting it be what I want it to be. After she spit on the rock and cleared off some of that mud, she congratulated me and told me how great it was, what a great find it was. Asked me to show her where I found it, asked me to keep looking, asked me to enjoy it, and asked me if I needed something to drink. She showed concern, she showed loving. No, I don't remember, physically remember any of this, but I can, I can, allow. I don't remember what happened after she spit on the rock and she started talking to me about what she could see spitting on the rock. But I can let it be that she stroked my hair. That she was proud. I can let it be that she was proud of me. And I love. I love I always craved from her. I can feel that love. I can push it back at her. I can envelop her in the loving. I can reflect it back. <sighs> Grateful and happy that she enjoyed what I handed her. I'm so grateful. So grateful. Love that I've craved from that woman. That my adult self 
believes was probably there. I'm letting my younger self feel. I'm letting her feel it. I'm letting her feel it. Oh, excellent. Just letting it in. Letting how successful and beautiful and wonderful that moment was into my whole being. I can use that to fill me up. I can use that loving to fill her up. To fill up my mother, to fill up her mother, to fill up the people back across the ages who hurt each other. Disrupt the abuse chain with me. Just disrupt it. Let it go. Okay. That really helped. Holy blazes, the realization that I am not angry at this woman. Helping my mother. Helping her. Helping her. And running to me as a resource. So grateful. Even though I couldn't help her in the moment. I had stuff to do. Oh my gosh. Okay. Much better. Whew. Oh my goodness. Much better. <laughs> I'm so much better. And I'm not, I would have wanted chips or burger or some ice cream, some caffeinated pop, some carbon. I want nothing else. I'm going to go right on this for my five lines of journaling today. Holy blazes. Whew.